Hey guys, today we have a Dell R720 server. I know it's an older server, but I mean, we still utilize it because it still works. Nothing wrong with it. And today we're going to be taking this GPU and we're going to be installing it because we're going to do a GPU pass through within VMware. So let's get started. So of course, let's go ahead and power down your server, unplug it, get it to your workbench. Let's put our GPU here to the side. Let's open this up. Now, depending on where you want your GPU, there is additional power here, so if you need additional power, luckily this GPU is a lot low profile. It's only a four gig card. Um, it doesn't really need additional power. So we're gonna go ahead and just probably put it over here and right in the middle. So we're gonna pull that blue connector up. Let's call that, I don't even know what you call these things. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna take that out and um, let's grab our GPU and let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, once you get your GPU snugged into that PCI Express slot, and it looks good here. Let's go ahead and pull that blue thing back down. And let's put the top back on. Now let's get this back into our rack. And let's get it powered back on and make sure our GPU is showing up in our hardware. Alright, we successfully booted up into VMware. So now let's go into the console and do that GPU pass through. All right, now that our server's fully up, we're in the E6i console. Now go to that particular VM, click on edit. And then we're gonna go to add other hardware device. Click on that. And you're gonna go on to PCI device. Uh, it's grayed out. Well, you have to do something first. So if you get this grayed out, that sucks. But if you can select your device already, then go ahead and select PCI device, and then you can get a drop down and select that GPU. But if you have that grayed out, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Go to your host. You're gonna wanna go to uh, manage. Go to the hardware tab, and then we're gonna find that GPU here in our list. Hopefully it's here. Yep, there it is. There's the GeForce GT710. So what you need to do is select both of them and hit toggle pass-through. Once you select that option, go back to your VM. Now click on edit. Go to add other device. And you can now have PCI device. So select that. Then we should get it already default to that GT710. So hit save. And keep in mind, your VM needs to be powered off when you are doing that. So let it reconfigure once that is complete. Now we can go ahead and power on that VM. So we're going to go ahead and power that on. We'll just wait for that VM to power on here. All right, our VM is fully powered up. And let's go ahead and log into it. All right, we are in. Now, it might take a little bit for Windows to detect that GPU and automatically install the drivers, but we should maybe see it here on the hardware list. But like I said, it can take some time, so let's give it a couple minutes here. All right, there you guys have it. There's the GT710 now in our hardware device inside that VM. If you're getting a black screen on that uh, HDMI or DVI display output on that GPU, make sure you install the latest NVIDIA drivers for the GPU and uninstall the VMware display drivers and then reboot the machine. Then go into your display, make sure you do duplicate this display or you're gonna see a black screen and then you can move the mouse to it but then you're not gonna be able to see anything else. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna, you see what's on that screen right there? We're gonna walk over to our screen in here and you can see we're seeing exactly the same thing and the monitor is directly plugged in to the server's GPU that we added in earlier. Uh, that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys on how to install a GPU in a server using a hypervisor, pass through in it to a actual virtual machine. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. I'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe.